In this video, we'll take you through the steps to plan your program in Program Planner. As you explore the different courses available to you, it's good to keep in mind your study load, either part-time or full-time. As a general rule, if you're studying full-time, you should aim for 40 units each semester or 30 units for each trimester and at least 80 units over the year. Typically, one course is equivalent to 10 units. However, depending on the course, this may be different. You can see how many units a course is worth when you click on the course in Program Planner. If you're planning your next study period at the uni, click on Track Progress. This will provide you with an overview of all the courses you've already taken, as well as those courses you still need to complete to graduate. If you are new to this system, don't worry if you have no courses ticked off yet. It will fill out as you take and pass courses at university. Continue watching to learn how to select a course and add it to your study path. Go to Plan Your Path, then click on Select Pathway under the Progress bar. If a recommended pathway exists for your program, it'll show up under Quick Add. Make sure you select the correct study period from the drop-down. You will now be able to view the recommended courses for each study period as you scroll down. If your program doesn't have an official pathway, we recommend reaching out to Ask UON for program advice. Now it's time to plan. Start by clicking on Plan Your Path. The program pathway will show you all the courses necessary to complete your degree, as well as the suggested timeline for when to take them. This will create your plan with every study term filled with recommended courses. These courses will also be visible in the sidebar under the Progress tab. If your program includes a major or specialisation, you'll be able to see it at the top of the page. If you want to change your major, this needs to be formalised in MyHub. It will then sync to Program Planner. As you scroll through, you'll see the courses we recommend you take in each study period. Click on the course to view more information, including campus location, how many units it's worth, and any prerequisites, if applicable. It will also show you what the course counts towards in your program. You can use this page in conjunction with the course handbook. At the top of your study period, you can see how many units are suggested you take in each study period. If you choose to study part-time, you can plan to take less courses. The tentative list in the right sidebar contains courses you are required to take as part of your program that you haven't included in your plan yet. These are visible under remaining requirements. In the courses section of the tentative list, you can add specific courses you want to save or are interested in. For instance, courses that could count for electives but you haven't yet placed out in your plan. Once you have a pathway applied to your plan, you'll see all the recommended courses in the Progress tab in the sidebar. If you delete a course from the suggested study period, it will reappear here. You can also add courses from the tentative list or course search. To add a course to your plan, you can drag and drop it from the tentative list. You can also select a course by searching for it and manually adding it to a study period using the drop-down. You can search for a course by keyword or course code. Make sure you check the applied search filters. Placeholders are the boxes with dotted outlines. They're put in your plan when a pathway is applied and to show you where you have an opportunity to choose what course you would like to take. They're also useful when you know you need to fulfill a requirement but haven't decided on a specific course yet. By adding a placeholder, you can reserve a spot in your term for that requirement and choose from available courses later. To add a placeholder, simply drag a requirement from the degree requirements sidebar. There are different types of placeholders and your plan may have multiple types of them, such as major placeholders or elective placeholders. Make sure you're familiar with what the placeholder means and make sure you're adhering to any requirements that placeholder has, such as maximum number of units taken at a certain level. 
Please note that once you've mapped out your program, you will still need to enrol in the courses you've planned. When enrolments are opened for the next study period, head to My Enrolments in the My Uni app or course enrolment in My Hub to complete your enrolment process. We hope you now feel confident in planning your path to graduation at the University of Newcastle. Should you have any questions or would like advice on planning your program, contact Ask UON.